For many of us, we graduate from college, we work in a full-time job for a few years and we start to feel stuck and unfulfilled with the work that we're doing. You dream of starting something of your own, but you just feel like it's impossible when all your time and mental energy is taken up by your full-time job. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I started a six-figure videography side hustle business whilst working as a full-time lawyer. Hopefully you can draw some inspiration from this story and use these tips to start something of your own. Tip number one is to get clear on your why. Why do you wanna start a side hustle in the first place? Is it because you feel stuck and unfulfilled with your nine to five job and you're looking for a way out? Or maybe you love your nine to five job and you're just simply looking for a way to make some extra cash. Building a side hustle is not easy. It takes a lot of hard work. And if you're not clear on your why from the very start, you're gonna give up very easily at the first sign of trouble. For me, I actually quite enjoyed being a lawyer. I found the work intellectually stimulating. I got to work with some big name clients, which was some great experience for me. And also the team that I worked with was amazing. But what I didn't like was the whole nine to five structure and feeling like you're relying on a boss for your paycheck. I've always dreamt of living life on my own terms and having complete control over my time and earning potential. And I just felt like in a nine to five job, it was very hard to get that. And so by pursuing a side hustle, this was my way of developing the necessary skills to be self-sufficient and to have options, to be able to earn a good living on my terms without needing to have a boss. So that was my why. And I really encourage you guys to have a really deep think about what your why is. Write it down because this is gonna be the fuel that's really gonna help you set you up for success in whatever side hustle that you end up pursuing. Once you're clear on your reason why for pursuing a side hustle and starting a business, next step is to actually figure out what you're gonna do. From speaking with friends and colleagues in my age bracket, this seems to be the part that most people struggle with. They've worked in a full-time job for a few years and they're starting to feel stuck and unfulfilled with the work they're doing in their nine to five job and they really wanna start something of their own, but they just have no idea where to begin or what to do. As a result, they're bouncing around from one idea to the next without actually executing anything. So I want to explain to you guys a principle that will help you find the right idea for your side hustle or business venture. This principle is called Ikigai, and it's a Japanese word that essentially means life purpose. And to be able to find one's life purpose, we need to answer four simple questions. What are you good at? What you love? What the world needs? And what you can get paid for? If we can find an idea, a side hustle, a business venture that satisfies each of these four questions, then we've essentially found something that is worth pursuing. To explain this principle a little bit further, let me tell you a story. In 2019, I bought my first camera. I love photography, and so I got good at it very quickly. But when it came to starting a side hustle business, I knew that the world was moving towards video and that brands and businesses would find video to be probably more useful in their marketing strategies. And so instead of just starting up a photography side hustle business, we decided to learn filmmaking and pursue a videography side hustle instead. It's really that simple. Find a skill or an area that you love and you can get really good at and pair it up with something that the world needs and is willing to pay you for it. And there you have an idea worth pursuing. Once you've found your side hustle idea by applying the principles of Ikigai, step three is to actually allocate time to work on your side hustle. This is the tough bit. Coming up with the idea is simple, but actually finding time after a long day of work or on the weekends to work on your side hustle is hard. It's really important here that you actually prioritize and allocate time for your side hustle rather than just working on it whenever you feel like. One strategy that really helped me was using something called a default diary, where you block out times in advance for various priority items in your life. For example, from Monday to Fridays between 9 a.m. till about 7 p.m., I'd be working in my full-time job. And from 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Monday to Fridays, I'd allocate that time to work on my side hustle. That means the time that I blocked out for my nine to five job was focused just on my job. It's really important here to keep your nine to five job separate from your side hustle. When you are working your nine to five job, that is your sole focus. You have to continue to put 110% effort into your nine to five job because that is your 
primary source of income. When you finish the day, you can mentally check out and then shift your attention to your side hustle. Don't try to balance both of them at the same time and try to work on your side hustle during work hours because it's just gonna end up compromising on your performance. I also want to mention the importance of allocating and blocking out time for yourself. Make sure you block out time for regular exercise and spending time with your loved ones. You might need to sacrifice some things such as binge watching Netflix shows after work and going out partying on the weekends with your friends, but don't sacrifice on the activities that nourish your soul and allow you to perform better. Tip number four is to take advantage of the slight edge. I've talked about this principle in a previous video and it comes from the book, surprise, surprise, called The Slight Edge. The whole premise behind the book is to essentially highlight the fact that success is not an overnight phenomenon like what most people or society wants you to believe. Rather, it is a result of small, consistent actions performed over a period of time. And when you embark on this path of pursuing a side hustle, you're gonna be faced with a daily decision. When you finish work, you have the choice of either watching Netflix and relaxing or allocating time to work on your side hustle. It's a small daily decision that might not seem to have a massive impact overall. If you spend two to three hours tonight working on your side hustle, it's not like tomorrow you're gonna wake up and have a six figure business, but it's your ability to consistently make the right decisions every single day that's gonna give you the slight edge and the best chances of having a flourishing side hustle business. Instead, focus on consistently working on your side hustle every day and making small improvements. For me, this included things such as editing projects after work, learning new things about filmmaking and business, and planning shoots during the weekend, going out and doing shoots on the weekends. And if things are quiet and we didn't have any projects going on, I would use that spare time to reach out to potential clients or plan free shoots to build up our portfolio. We went from doing projects for free to a few hundred dollars to earning a few thousand dollars per month to even earning tens of thousands of dollars. It wasn't an overnight thing. This was a gradual process that was owed to our dedication to making small, consistent improvements every single day and which allowed us to essentially take advantage of the slight edge. Tip number five is to prioritize working with real customers. When you start your side hustle, this should be your number one focus. But what this process allows you to do is really understand your customers' pain points, their wants and desires so that you can craft products and services that will actually bring your customers value. In the tech startup world, I guess you'd call this a MVP or a minimum viable product doesn't really matter what you call it. At the end of the day, what you have to realize in business is that money is just an exchange of value. So whatever you wanna start, whether it's a side hustle or a business, you have to figure out who you wanna work with and how you're actually gonna add value to them. For example, when we started our videography side hustle business, for the first three months, we just focused on working with real customers for free. We didn't get paid a single cent. We didn't really know what niche or particular customers we wanted to work with. We just prioritized on getting as much experience as we could and getting real life customer feedback. By working with real clients for the first three months, even though it was for free and we didn't get paid anything, after this process, we really got a good understanding of what clients liked, what they didn't like, and we were then able to kind of sit down with our market research, come up with services and packages that were gonna bring value to those customers and then essentially sell them when we launched our side hustle business. There's no point working on an ID if no one actually wants it. And so the best way to figure out what people want is to get out there, work with real customers, get feedback and figure out what they want and don't want. So those are the five tips that I think contributed most in my journey of starting a six figure side hustle business whilst working full time. Nothing fancy or out of the ordinary. And if an average Joe like me can do it, so can you. The steps are simple. And at the end of the day, it really comes down to how bad you really want it and do you have the work ethic to carry this out? Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value from it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and hit subscribe, press the notification bell button to get notified every time we post a new video on this channel. We talk all things filmmaking, self-development and entrepreneurship. We also have an email newsletter, link in the description box down below if you're interested in signing up and learning more about our journey. If you have any questions, feel free to just email us at jonoandjason at gmail.com or just send us a DM across on Instagram. 
And with that, guys, thank you again for staying to the very end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.